When my daughter was in first grade, her teacher asked each student in the class to share something they were afraid of. The other students had answers you'd expect, like clowns, monsters, roller coasters. When it was my daughter's turn, she looked at her teacher and with a stern and serious face said, little people, they freak me out. <laughs> <sighs> yes, she shivered. It took a moment for a teacher to realize that by little people, she meant little kids. And you have to understand, my daughter was probably the littlest kid in the whole school. But I guess her answer shouldn't have surprised me. When I was a kid, I didn't really care for little kids either. I can probably count on one hand the number of times that I babysat, and <laughs> I was terrified of babies. Motherhood was definitely not on my radar growing up. It was the 80s, and I was going to be a career girl. I could picture myself in a high-rise condo wearing a power suit. You remember the ones with the really big shoulder pads? <laughs> It'd be like the movies, and I'd climb the corporate ladder, find true love, and live out my days at important parties and traveling the world. My friends were the ones that would get married, have kids, settle down. Not me. No way. My daughter's 13 now. In the, the other day she said to me, you know, that if you want grandkids, you better not look at me. I'm never having kids. <laughs> After a sigh of relief, since I really do not want to be a grandmother for another 10 or 15 years, I replied with, well, you know, when I was your age, I didn't want kids either, but clearly I changed my mind. Yes, I did change my mind. I guess I never really thought about it. The change probably started when I was 18. I took a job working at a daycare, and <laughs> let me tell you, it was not my first choice. I was desperate for work. My friend's parents owned a daycare and had an opening. I remember being terrified my first day. I pictured me in the middle of a horde of four-year-olds with snotty noses and dirt-covered hands all coming at me like zombies. <sighs> what was I thinking? Only it wasn't like that. Some of those beasts were actually quite sweet. Yes, dare I say, likable, lovable, adorable. I was like the Grinch. My heart grew three sizes that day. And I wasn't half bad at taking care of the little beasties, although I dare say I got a little cocky and started to think, you know, I could do this one day. I mean, <laughs> look at these parents. They are a mess. If they can do it, I can do it. I mean, <laughs> I can't do worse than these people are doing. <laughs> oh, silly, silly young girl, you have no idea. Fast forward six years, I met my husband, and two years later we were married. Then one year, one month, and one day later, we had a bouncing baby boy. The moment I became a mother, it was like I stepped into another life, another world that I just, I had no idea existed. It's a world people try to describe to you, but words just fail. Let me tell you, I was rocking the parenting thing, case in point. When my son was two, he loved blocks. He would build and build and build. One day we watched as he sat there for what must have been hours trying to stack blocks. He'd get so high, then they'd fall. We marveled at how he wouldn't give up. He just kept trying. And finally he found success. Proudly we gazed at our little man balancing block after block perfectly. His tower taller and taller to as tall as he was. As he reached for one more block and he began to place it, the stack, it, it wobbled and it swayed and <laughs> collapsed as he held that last block in his hand. He looked at the collapsed tower. He took that block. He threw it to the ground and said, oh, F it. <laughs> Only the word was not a celebration of the sixth letter of the alphabet. It was the mother of all words, the one Big Daddy F-bomb. My husband looked at me, and <laughs> I knew right away where you'd heard that from. <laughs> Mother of the year, right here, folks. Those young, foolish words I said at 18, I can't do much worse. Those were coming back to haunt me, mock me, laugh in my face. I learned how wrong I was to judge those poor parents so many years ago. Parenting's not for the meek, nor as I learned is it for the foul of tongue. <laughs> Parenting's messy, it's ugly, it's an imperfect art, but the creations are one of a kind. So here we are today, I don't have a penthouse apartment downtown. I made it a few rungs up the corporate ladder before, before finding a cozy level to hang out in, and I don't own a power suit, thank God, or travel the world. But I did find true love, and not only a husband, but in two wonderful kids who survived me as a mom and turned out pretty awesome. Being a mother was never who I wanted to be growing up. 
but I now realize it was who I was meant to be. And I'm so grateful that somewhere along the road of life, something somewhere changed my mind.